Chiefs as the Chiefs were working towards that number one seed at Mile High. We start in the first quarter. Things were looking good to start, guys. Pretty easy pass right there to a wide open Travis Kelsey. A nice start. 17 play drive. So you're thinking, all right, Chiefs are good to go, right? Well, maybe not. Two minutes left in the first. A little trickeration. Javante Williams to Court and Sutton to Noah Fant. And they would get that down to the seven yard line. Two plays later, Drew Locke takes the snap and scrambles into the end zone for the five yard touchdown. Boy, did he have a night, especially in the first half on the ground, Teddy. Yeah, why not? I mean, all of his receivers are covered. I see a little opening, take off and run. The middle's wide open. Couple touchdowns he had running the football. And then we go to the second quarter. Same score, it's tied at seven. And once again, Drew Locke gets a snap and figures he'll just do it on his own. Broncos fans went from booing this offense early in the game to that. They're fired up because they like what they see. All right, we're in this thing. So then after this nice run from Drew there, they're thinking how in the world can this Kansas City Chiefs defense not be able to slow these guys down? Well, they get their offense back the ball and that would be Patrick Mahomes to a guy Rex, who really was a difference maker tonight, and Jarek McKinnon. Yeah, he was. And, and when the, uh, Williams got hurt, they put this guy in, and what a difference he made. And, and look, it's not like he uh, hadn't done it in the past. He was excellent in Minnesota. He was hurt all those years on the Niners. But he showed up in a big-time way when the Chiefs needed him most. More work on the ground. This would be Drew Locke to Melvin Gordon. He takes it to the house. 47-yard touchdown, and the Broncos would get back in the lead 21 17. So we go to the fourth quarter. Chiefs are down 21 20. Once again, Melvin Gordon takes oh, the handoff. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Teddy, you, you love this. Broncos had him on the ropes, but it's just the one play. Melvin Ingram makes the play this team needs. Bolton, the rookie linebacker out of Missouri, takes it 80 plus yards. And all the fans, even myself, I'm like, how did that just happen? Nick Bolton scoops hey, it up. For the 86 yards. Did their quarterback learn how to tackle? Oh, I mean, I, I don't know that that's their fault. Chiefs go for the two point conversion. Mahomes, well, he doing Mahomes stuff, scrambles up the middle, and the Chiefs would take the 28 to 21 lead. Later in the fourth, same score. Drew Locke finds Jerry Judy deep down the sideline. This one was huge, 28 yards. And so the Broncos are in the red zone. They're feeling good in the stadium. Well, then later in the drive, Brandon McManus, he kicks it through the uprights. So that would be a 31-yard field goal. And they trail by four. Next drive, first and 10. Mahomes to McCole Hardman finds a hole in the defense and runs it upfield. 44 yards. So the Chiefs get into field goal range. And they knew they were in trouble right here. Later in the drive, same score. Mahomes back to his guy, Travis Kelsey, in the middle of the field for an 11-yard gain. That would be a huge first down, and they would go on to win it 28-24. to Maybe a little bit nervous there for a second, but they got it done when they needed to on the road. The Chiefs win means they're still alive for the number one seed in the AFC. Titans can lock up the top spot tomorrow, though, with a win against the Texans. But if they lose in Houston, the Chiefs would get the only bye in the AFC for the second straight year. For more reaction from Denver, time to send it back to Susie Colbert and Steve Young with Nick Bolton. It looked like things were going the Broncos' way until the rookie, Nick Bolton, the scoop and score. Can you take us through the play, what you saw, what had happened, what it felt like? Yeah, so Coach Spaz, he called a great blitz. So I came off the edge. Uh, Mel 21, our DM, man, shot through the gap. I had a huge hit in the backfield, crossed, uh, forced the fumble. And I'm just lucky to be there, uh, being in the right position at the right time. Um, pick the ball up and we'll take it to the end zone for our team. And uh, that's kind of the message of our team all year, just grit uh, down to the end, executing in the red zone, and uh, just making plays when they happen. How, oh, how ahead, real yes. is momentum? Oh, yeah, momentum was huge, man. It was, it was back and forth all up to that point. And uh, just getting that big play for our, our team and I'm scoring for our offense and then going back out there, uh, making them take the long roll was huge uh, and getting a win tonight. Two things. Did you think you were going to fall down when you picked it up? <laughs> how, how close did you get to falling down? And did you run out of gas at the end? How, how did uh, that feel? Uh, yeah, first, I, yeah, I almost <laughs> did fall. I changed my cleats, got seven studs in. I was a little shaking when I was running down, uh, down the sideline. But when I touched the 10-yard line, I um, had an altitude, so I was catching up with me a little bit. Uh, and at that point, we were just trying to get in the end zone, man. So before the game, we said that the Chiefs are better than they've ever been because of what you guys went through the first half of the year and the toughness that you had, mm -hmm. the resilience, and actually 
figure out ways to overcome some of the things that pe teams were throwing at you. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you feel the same way? I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. Our defense built on, like I said, grit. Uh, we kind of uh, got a lot better than we did the previous year in red zone. Uh, that's kind of been our biggest thing and making teams take the long, hard road. Um, it's an eliminate explosive plays. And so uh, we kind of been doing that uh, as the season progressed and um, looking forward to what we got ahead of us. Nick, how do you think a tough test like this actually helps you heading into the playoffs? Really slow though. Hey, I don't understand. You <laughs> almost pulled a hamstring. I'm just trying to figure it out, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm slow hey. too. I got caught too. It's okay. Hey, everybody ain't four threes, is man. one of the fastest guys on the team, so <laughs> him calling you slow is okay. Yes, hey, man, for sure. Will you ask the question one more time? Yeah. How a tough game like this maybe actually is an advantage going into the playoffs? Oh yeah, going to the like I said, they got two great backs uh, in the backfield. They got there and they're able to play action and got playmakers on the outside. So. Uh, playing in a test like this, going to play off, stopping the run. I know on, on our side, we, we got ahead of stopping the run uh, and playing the pass down the road. Um, so this test right here was huge for us. I was looking forward to building on it. Uh, looking forward to the playoffs, baby. Look, Tyron Matthew has said that he believes this is the best version of the Chiefs defense, and you are a big part of that. Congratulations yes. on the win. What a great rookie season, and what a way to wrap it up. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Way to go, bro. Right, thank you. Appreciate hey, great it. job. Look, Nick Boyd.